determine the sum of x from the following frequency distribution graph. Is it 21, 30, 44, or there's not enough, I guess this means not enough information provided. Okay, so what we don't have here is we don't have the actual frequency distribution table, but we can easily reconstruct it. We know what all the categories are here of x, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and that on its own is not enough for us to calculate the sum of x. We wouldn't want to do that because that doesn't take into account how many x values of 1 there are or how many responses with x equals to 2 and so on. So we need to know our frequencies. So we can do that just by keeping track of how many of each of these scores we actually have. So it appears that there is one one, there are two twos, there's four threes, there's two fours, there's one five, and no sixes. Now, to get the sum of x when you've got a frequency distribution like this, you actually have to do the sum of f times x. So I'm going to do f times x, and I'll get 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, and so on. When I sum these up, the sum of f times x, that's going to give me my sum of x. So I've got 5, 17, 25, 30. So my answer is B, 30.